Hi everyone. Today I wanted to talk about a very important part of a live wallpaper, and that is a, the background picture. Uh, background picture needs to be in JPG format, and in order to use it, you have to place it into the work folder for the live wallpaper creator to see. To do that, you can click on the Tools and Settings tab right out of Live Wallpaper Creator and click on the Work Folder button underneath the shortcuts to Program Directories. And this will open up a window where you can move or paste your picture. As you can see, I already have some pictures there. Now, so I'll close that and we'll go back to the General tab. Once you have the picture in the folder, you can click Refresh and it should appear. Uh, we'll be working with this picture today and as you can see, it's some bubbles. Uh, they look pretty cool. Uh, but in front of you, you can see a red outline. Uh, it's called a crop frame. And this crop frame is um, a mock preview of what the working area will be, what the user will see on their phone. So the center is indicated by a little plus, and the little two cuts on the side are the pages that the user will be swiping to. And of course, the the main rectangle in the middle is the main working area, the what the user will see on their phone. You can move this crop frame by left clicking on it and moving it horizontally only. And if you right click on it, you can move it in 360 direction, just like so. You can resize it by clicking on this little square box on the right hand uh, bottom corner and shrinking it or expanding it and it will maintain the aspect ratio. There are two crop frames that we include in the Live Wallpaper Creator. The first one is a high resolution, and it is for the newer phones that are coming out with higher resolutions. And the uh, the actual pixel number for that resolution is 1080 by 960. And there is also a mid resolution, which is for the older phones, uh, and that is 640 by 480. Uh, the aspect ratio is also a little different and these two crop frames are completely independent of each other so you can set them up to be whatever you want uh, you can also include the the padding area that we provided for you this is called image padding the two black strips one the top and one the bottom black is just the default color but uh, you can change it to whatever you want and this is to give you some some breathing room in case you want to include a bit more of the picture then you can. As you can see, I'm missing out on on um, on this left side of the picture right here and on the right side of the picture right here. I can't include it because it's not within the crop frame. But if I wanted to, I can just move this crop frame a little bit like this to the top and then expand it and then I can capture a bit more of the sides but I have to add something at the top and the bottom. And this is where image padding comes in. Now black will probably will not look too good so I can pick a different color and you can use our color picker right here um, to set whatever color you want it probably wouldn't look very good but just to give you an example so yeah it looks horrible but you can also use the eyedropper mode and pick a color right off the picture which is a very good a very good approach and it should match a little better so let's say we use this color see that's a lot easier on the eyes just like that. There you go. That's good. So just like that, we set we set up our working area, and um, there's another little feature that we included. And in case your picture is all red and you can't see the crop frame, you can switch the selection uh, rectangle color by clicking on the little checkbox and it'll turn blue. So just like that. Once you're ready with your with your crop area you click set and the status will, s will change from not set to set as you can see and you will also see a white frame indicating the area that you've set uh, and you can move the oops you have to turn off the eyedropper mode otherwise it will keep changing um, so as you can see this is the area that we selected indicated by this white frame and that is um, the area that will be used for the live wallpaper now, we've got to go to the mid-resolution and set that as well before we proceed. Now, we'll keep, we'll, we'll keep the, the mid-resolution, um, without we won't use image padding for this. And it will look like this. Let's size it down so you can see. So that is the working area. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, please post on our forums. 
uh, or you can email us directly. Um, otherwise, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy using Live Alter Creator.